Well, hello, Bob Dendry here and welcome back to Transport Fever 2 where we're building the Reno, Thousand Oaks and Roseville Railway. So last week we did a little bit of work on, you know, getting a second industry chain coming into Thousand Oaks. So we've uh, built up our construction materials plant with a couple of feeder stations and we've got a train taking a very small amount of bricks into Thousand Oaks. Um, we've all got to start somewhere, I suppose. It's not going to be making a profit. In fact, it's going to be actively losing its money. Uh, but I think it's important to have that train in place to, uh, I guess, continue to encourage growth in Thousand Oaks. Before we go any further, it has been pointed out to me that we don't actually have a headquarters set up for the company yet. So we're going to remedy that straight away. So we're going to pop in here and we are going to build our headquarters. And we're going to put it nice and close to our station here at Thousand Oaks. Probably, I'm thinking, on this corner here. Beautiful. So hopefully we'll see that grow over time into a nice big skyscraper that showcases our wealth and goodness to the world. Fingers crossed anyway. You'd remember last week that we moved uh, one of the trains from that line to, to run this little short, um, well not our main passenger line, but look at that, it's making a bit of profit, which is cool. I think that'll be the first time we've actually made profit from it. No, we are looking at our little brick train that um, is losing its money, um, but we now need to replace that on the crude oil line so that we can obviously replace the profitability that that train was actually bringing us on the crude oil line. So we're going to be looking at a 10-wheeler. It's um, reasonably fast, decent amount of power and tractive effort, and it should be fairly easy for us to get up towards maybe 10 cars or so running on this thing. Turns out 10 cars was wishful thinking, um, but I think we should be fine just to sit and wait until we've got that money. It's not that much more than we've got right now, and that will really ensure that we're setting up to, to be able to pull in some more profit using that line. And we've got the money in hand, so we will buy that. We're probably going to negative very shortly, um, as is you know, what happens when we play this game. But this uh, new train we've just put into... Um, service here should really be quite good for us. So it's going to be a lot faster than our other train. So it is actually going to be held up probably a fair bit. Um, but it, you know, has the capability to speed up a lot quicker. It should be a, a really good purchase for us, hopefully. Okay, and with that new train in service, it's now time to move on to what will be the meat of this episode. And it will be... Um, quite a large expansion to our network, the largest expansion to date, or single expansion to date anyway. And what we're going to be doing, so obviously we're running stone up to our construction materials plant, and obviously we're not transporting a lot of the construction materials we're actually, you know, producing as part of that. And that is partly because Southland Oaks doesn't really have many um, buildings that are accepting. So our nearest town that will accept more construction materials is up here in Santa Clara. And Santa Clara also unlocks a fair bit of new industry that we haven't seen before, including a tools factory, which is something we need for Thousand Oaks down here as well. So what we're going to be doing, we're actually going to be extending our main line through to Santa Clara and not today, but potentially from there, we'll also go through Rancho, Cucamonga and Indianapolis as well. Having a look at our contours, we're actually looking fairly good. Things are fairly straight. Things are fairly flat as long as we avoid our sort of little mountainous bits here. We've got a few bits where we're going to be going up and down, but it's fairly good, all things considered. So we're in a really good position to run a line through to Santa Clara fairly cheaply. We can then run construction materials here and also get our passenger line expanded as well. So we're going to get started on that straight away. So our construction materials and our passenger line are actually going to be fairly close together as you can see. We've got passengers over here and construction materials here as well. So we could possibly actually use the same station to uh, accept both of these. So I will change over to a two track passenger train and we can slot it in around about here. We don't need Katanari though, not yet anyway. 
And then from here, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use the configure tool and we're actually going to add on some additional um, train lines. So we are going to add an additional track here, which we're actually not going to do anything with. I, I probably should have just attached that to start with, but it's fine. Um, that is because obviously we've got our passenger platform there to start with. So our freight line will be this second track we've added. And we will of course need a cargo building as well, which we're going to connect on here. That will automatically link into our road. And that gives us actually pretty decent coverage if we have a look through. It pretty much covers all of our brick buildings. There's a few that aren't covered. We're not gonna worry about that too much at the moment. And we can possibly even extend our um, reach in terms of our residential if we maybe get rid of a single building and add an additional um, entrance somewhere. But we're gonna leave it at the moment. We may look to get some public transport in shortly, um, but we're not gonna to worry too much about it right now. We're gonna worry right now. Our main focus right now is going to be getting a nice, reasonably flat railroad all the way through to Roseville from here. I think that's turned out fairly well. Obviously, we're going around this mountain. That is going to increase journey times. Um, but it is a lot cheaper than just punching right through the side of a mountain. Now we just need to get a few passing loops in. I think we'll need, you know, a reasonable amount. This is a quite, you know, long range sort of route. And then we should be good just to wait till we got some cash in the hand to get a new construction materials train on. Cool, so we've got our new um, part of our line up to Santa Clara all set up. What we'll do is we'll get a passenger line set up to also service that area as well. Alrighty, and we've been letting it run for a little bit, actually quite a while. And we have enough money now to get a construction materials train set up to run over to Santa Clara. So let's jump in and see what we're going to be playing with. So we are actually going to be running with the Mikado. Um, obviously quite a classic uh, steam engine. As you can see from the description, more than 9,500 of these were used in the USA. Um, I'm pretty sure they were also, you know, the same basic design was also used in Australia, probably in Britain as well. So quite a ubiquitous steam engine. Um, it'll allow us to get up to a reasonable speed and due to the high power and tractive effort, it'll get up to that speed very fast as well. So I think a good choice for a long range steam train. From there, we're gonna be getting some flat cars on there as well. So we're gonna try and get, um, you know, as pretty much as much as we can. Obviously we've got some sort of um, money, well, not really problems. Um, we just need to make sure we are within what's available to us. So I think around about 132 capacity is gonna be good to start with. I'm gonna press the buy button now because the money's available. We'll go into negative very shortly, I'm sure, but it should fix up pretty quickly. And we're gonna get it on the Roseville to Santa Clara bricks line. I'm calling it bricks, and, and you'll notice I do it often in uh, these videos just because it's quicker than saying construction materials. And the icon is bricks as well, so it makes sense. But now we've got our first Mikado running, which is uh, pretty exciting, as you can see. If we slow down to real time, it is uh, getting its way out of the depot and is actually quite, you know, quickly speeding up to a decent line speed as well because of that power and tractive effort they have.
So we got 878,000 out of that probably uh, third load or so. So pretty good effort. Um, I think once we're completely filling up this train, obviously it's going to bring in quite a bit of cash for us and it will definitely uh, justify or, or cover its own running costs, which is good news. Now, the current issue we're really having with this construction materials plant is that it's only a level one right now. Um, so it's not demanding a whole lot of, um, of raw materials. Therefore, you know, we're not getting a whole lot out of our quarries either right now. So to get it to level up, we need to increase the transport percentage and also the shipment numbers as well. So basically, we need to ship goods and fast. And that will allow us to sort of lengthen our quarry trains. Obviously, this one here, it's more or less breaking even right now. Um, but if we were to increase the demand for stone um, to the construction materials plant, then obviously that would lift the amount we can transport as well. But I think we're going to leave it there for this episode. So we've, um, I think, done a fair bit. We've got our new line set up to Santa Clara. We're shipping some bricks over there, and we've also made some slight modifications to the rest of the network, but I think this has probably been a fairly short one for you. If you've enjoyed this, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell so you get a ding to your device the next time I post a video. You can find links to my social media in the description, so please get on, like, follow, subscribe, do all that wonderful stuff, and a big shout out to Twitch as well. If you have Twitch, please give me a follow, it helps me out a lot. But until next time, I'm Bob Dendry, this is Transport Fever 2, thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.